I'm done being silly. Uh, Miss S has uh, clearly lost her mind. Um, but I am excited because we are finally starting our roller coaster engineering challenge um, right here. So I'm going to go through the instructions. I'm going to ask that you please watch this. I'm going to go through it um, quickly, but it's important that you pay attention and you read through this um, so you know what you're doing. All right. So the challenge. Your challenge is to build an exciting roller coaster that meets specific requirements while staying within a budget. While trying to spend as little money as possible, build a roller coaster that is exciting, original, and takes a long time for the marble to travel from the start to the finish. Okay. Um, I'm going to break this down into more details in a minute, but that's our overview. Winning the challenge will give you bragging rights, but it will not affect your grade. Right. So just like um, our rocket, right, you could have your rocket could have went the highest egg stayed intact. Um, that's just bragging rights. That does not affect your grade. What does affect your grade here is the roller coaster final report. OK, so this document is your final report. Right. Uh, you might have seen up here that I have instructions. Page one, there's actually two pages of instructions and then the rest of it is your report. Take your time. Don't skip parts. Don't skip parts. No skipping parts. This will determine the majority of your grade for the roller coaster unit. Um, there are three sections you need to complete. Rapid design process, final budget, and final analysis. There is no CER for this, so good job. Due dates. You will need to upload a video of your roller coaster by Friday, April 3rd. So that's in, about, in a week and a half. I will give you more detailed instructions on what needs to be included in the video and how to upload the video next week. So don't stress about that at all. I want you to focus on building your roller coaster. I will send instructions on how to do that. To be honest, I'm still trying to figure out the best way for you to do that and for everybody to see everybody's roller coaster. So those will be coming. Your roller coaster final report. So this document must be completed and turned in. Please turn it in. I know we don't typically turn it in for science, but please turn it in by Tuesday, April 7th. Okay, so that's the day before Passover break. All right, moving on. Instructions, page two. This is the last page of instructions. All right, so I'm going to go through the equipment, prices, and requirement. So equipment. You're going to need all of these items when designing, building, and testing your roller coaster. So every day when you start doing your roller coaster, you're going to need um, your roller coaster instructions. You can look at my videos or the written instructions, um, your paper roller coaster pieces, scissors, ruler, scotch tape um, only on the roller coaster parts, duct tape only for the base, pen, and a cardboard for the base. Um, again, uh, like with the experiment, you can only use, use scotch tape when taping the different parts of the roller coaster together. You can use duct tape or uh, another type of strong tape to tape the roller coaster parts to the cardboard base. I also recommend making this in a place where you're not going to have to move it and pick it up and move it all around. So find a part of your house where your roller coaster can just live. Um, that hopefully that's possible. Um, the more you move your roller coaster around, you know, because it is just made out of paper, the more likely something will break or stop working or things like that. So if you can have a part of your room or the living room or a table or something like that where your roller coaster could just live, that would be great. All right, cost of materials. So you must keep track of your materials and how much you spend. Use your roller coaster budget sheet in Roller Coaster Google Classroom under the Paper Roller Coaster Engineering Challenge topic to keep track of how much you spend. Right? So you have a roller coaster budget sheet. And so this is in Google Classroom. It is under Roller Coaster Engineering Challenge. I move this towards the top. It's called Roller Coaster Budget. Right? And your roller coaster budget looks like this. So you see all the parts and their colors. Right, so column, beam, I'm not going to read this, you can read, and how much they cost. Right? You need to keep track of how many of each of these parts you are using in your roller coaster and then your total cost. Um, now, I've just given 
this much information to you. You're going to have to fill it out yourself. Um, during office hours on Wednesday and Thursday of this week, I'm going to offer the first 20 minutes to be a tutorial on how to use formulas and how to set this up to auto calculate. So you just have to put in like two for columns and then here like the total will automatically come up and the total will automatically come up here so you don't have to do all the math yourself because we have computers and they can do it for us if you already know how to do this good job for you just get started but again my office hours wednesday and thursday the first 20 minutes i'll do a screen share and i'll show you how to do that how to set this up so if you want to come great all right um, back to here. So you have to make sure you do that. All right. So judging criteria and winning the challenge. All right. So I, Ms. S, will judge your roller coaster video. So I'm going to watch your marble go down your roller coaster by completing this table. I'm going to go through it. The roller coaster with the most point wins. And if and when, and when, when we go back to school, um, I will have a prize for you. You can pick what it is probably going to be food. Let's be clear. All right. So total time, right? The time it takes for the marble to go from the top of your roller coaster to the container at the bottom, right? So the time it takes to go from the top to the bottom of your roller coaster, right? One second equals five points, right? So if the marble took 10 seconds to go from the top of your roller coaster to the bottom of your roller coaster, that would be 50 points, right? So again, the longer the marble takes to go down your roller coaster, the more points you can get. Right? Container at the end to catch the marble is worth five points. Um, I just want to see the marble go into some sort of container. You can make it out of whatever you want to or use anything at home or uh, another roller coaster part for it. That's just to help the ro you not lose the marble. That's it. Just make sure you have that there. Construction quality. So how well are all your parts made and assembled? Basically, does it is it constructed well or does it look like a death trap? Um, you get 20 points maximum for that. Excitement value. How exciting is your roller coaster? Right? You could make the total time take really long by just going like straight track, straight track, straight track, straight track. But that is boring. Boo, boring. So the more exciting you have, loops, jumps, I don't know what kind of crazy stuff you want to do, any sort of crazy stuff you want to do, 40 points maximum for that. Creativity. Creativity I'm looking for um, in the roller coaster itself, like the order of things, like is it creative? But you can also decorate your roller coaster. I've had many a Star Wars themed uh, roller coasters in the past, but anything you want to use to decorate your roller coaster with, make it a little more creative, theme your roller coaster, whatever you want to do, print out pictures, scrapbook it. I don't, you know, be creative however you want. It's amazing. I love it. All right. Cost of materials. So here comes with the budget, right? So what I do is I go here and I look at your total budget. I see how much you spent, right? And then for every dollar you spent is minus one point. So if you spent $50, that's minus 50 points. If you spent $25, that's minus 25 points, right? So there are some trade-offs here that you're gonna have to do for time, excitement, and how much the materials cost. Right. So that's the challenge. All right, so that's the challenge. Now the actual uh, report itself. So this is the part you're going to be graded on. Impress me. Come on, show me what you can do. So part one is called the rapid design process. So prototypes. There's two parts to this. Prototypes and implement. Prototypes. Each day when you are finished building, take a photo of what you have built and then under the photo, answer the questions below. Answers can be in bullet points. Bullet points. Remember, you want to spend about 20 or 40 minutes uh, a day building your roller coaster every day. Okay? So you should have a total of 10 prototypes about that. 
right? If it's a little less, that's okay. If it's more, that's okay. But I'm looking for like right around 10 prototypes, right? You will copy and paste this section here as needed. So basically, it's Wednesday. You watch this video. You get started. You start building, right? Whenever you're done building, look at it. Remember, 20, 40 minutes a day if you want to do a little bit more. That's great. You're going to take a photo of whatever you built, put it there, and then you're going to answer these four questions. What is today's date? What has been successful? What has failed? What is your plan for tomorrow? Right? Like today's date, it's Wednesday. Uh, what has been successful? Um, I uh, assembled all of my beams and attached and columns and attached my straight track. What has failed? The loop because I hate it. Um, I couldn't fold it properly. The marble wouldn't spin around, whatever. What is your plan for tomorrow? Uh, remake the loop, add some curves, things like that. Right? So you're going to have to copy and paste this, right? Copy and paste this part as many times as you need it. Again, I'm looking for about 10 of these, about 10. Okay, plus or minus two. Let's say that. All right. so if you have eight, that's okay. If you have more than that, that's okay. All right, have fun with this. All right, and then implement. I want you to take a photo of your final build and answer the questions below. This one's in complete sentences. Three to five sentences per question, please. So photo, this is your final build. You're done. It's not this Friday, it's next Friday, you're feeling good, it goes here. So what trade-offs did you make when designing your roller coaster? So did you value a lower budget over excitement? Or did you value creativity over a lower budget? Like what, what was like your priorities here? Was budget number one for you? And then excitement, then creativity? Was it creativity, excitement, budget? Was it excitement, budget, creativity? Like what was it? Like let me know what that was. Um, and a little bit about why, like, why did you, why did you choose to do that? Um, and then how do you think your roller coaster will do in the competition? Why do you think this? Okay. Looking for three to five sentences for each of these questions. Okay. Second part of your final report is your budget. So all engineering projects have a budget. You need to have an accurate and complete budget for the parts you have um, use and the money you have spent. Make sure you have completed your roller coaster budget sheet in Google Classroom. So this needs to be done and accurate. Right? So make sure that's done and accurate. All right. And then part three, final analysis, right? Um, you have one, two, three, four questions that you need to answer um, in complete sentences. Right. And the question is, how much gravitational potential energy does your marble have at the top of your roller coaster? Please show your work. So this is actually a math question. It's a calculation you have to do. Number two, once your marble starts moving down your roller coaster, the gravitational potential energy gets converted into which other forms of energy? Number three, oh, this is going back a long time, this question. An object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. I hope everyone remembers that. What are the unbalanced forces in your roller coaster that cause the marble to move? So this is about forces. This isn't about energy. This is asking for you to remember what we did with rockets and see if you can apply it. Remember, I do have office hours where I can help you with this if you need to. And then this last one, what is the relationship between forces and energy? Okay, so those are your four questions. Please complete sentences for these. Um, and complete sentences for this one is just showing me your work, right? Like, just show me all your numbers. Um, okay, so how I'm grading this. So your rapid design process is worth 50 points. So um, those your prototypes, photos, and answers to the questions, that's that's 40 points. Implement photos and answers to the questions, that's 10 points. Uh, your final budget that you've completed, uh, you have a complete and accurate budget, that's 30 points. And then we have these four questions, that's 20 points. So this assignment is worth 100 points, right, which is way more than any of the assignments we've done so far, right? So this will really determine the bulk of your grade. Um, Good luck. Have a lot of fun. I'll see you during office hours. Um, and I'm probably going to have some live classes next week, which I will tell you about later. All right, everybody. Good luck. Have fun building. 
Um, that's it.